All right, everyone, welcome back to Resident Evil 2. So we just met with our buddy Marvin here, who told us to be careful. And so we are ready to move on. Let's get this adventure started, shall we? Volume levels and everything actually sounded really good, so I don't think I have to make any changes. I think we are sitting pretty well with that. Grab this ammo here. Uh, I am going to store some stuff away. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, I do have the infinite combat knife as well as the infinite ammo samurai edge. Uh, but we won't actually be using those. Um, we will just be... Just be using regular weapons. So I'm going to store... Actually, I need one of those. So give me that guy. I'm going to put it up here. Sorry, I like to do inventory management. Um, so I'm not really going to worry about using one of these guns. Uh, we will be getting another pistol a little later on. And then uh, this will basically turn into our magnum. So anyway, let's move on. get this thing started. I love the atmosphere in this game. It's so good. Look, there's another one of those hydrants. I have no idea why they even exist, but they do. Look at the detail, man just an incredible amount of detail in that little scene right there. It's insane. Who's there? Hello, buddy. Just hanging around, I see. So this is a uh, spade door, or clover spade. I'm not good with this kind of stuff. But anyway, this key is exclusive to Leon. Leon exclusively gets this key, and Claire gets the heart key. Hello, ma'am. Uh, I'm just gonna have to ask you to not come in here. Thank you very much. Now, I will be reading some of the documents and stuff that I get, too. Uh, even though I've read them all, I'll read them again just for you guys. Record of events. September 25th. We're turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make their safety of the to make the safety of the citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. September 25th, addendum. One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. Yeah. Right. September 26th, a mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it to safety behind the emergency shutters, but surrounded as we are, it's still hard for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure we can fix any of our comm equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. September 27th, there was another clash on the west side of the station around 1 p.m. Twelve people died, and there's only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling into disarray here. David Ford. All right. Another locked door, of course. Grab ourselves a nice little map here. And through the window we go. This is definitely going to be another new experience for me just because it's been a while since I've actually played the game with limited ammo. So, uh, yeah. But we are definitely going to take care of the guys in this hallway as well as the west office. Alright, that guy's done. Uh, that guy's done too? Okay. Well, this is going much better than I expected. That guy, I think, will actually just leave there. I don't even need to bother with him. Gunpowder. Uses of gunpowder. Handgun ammo 
is two gunpowders. Acid rounds is gunpowder plus high-grade gunpowder, which is white. And submachine gun ammo is two high-grade gunpowders. There's a lot of ammo left around the station. So, or, excuse me, there's not a lot of ammo left around the station, so make good use of any gunpowder you find. Different guns require different ammo, so pay attention when you're combining things, or you won't get what you need. And I have definitely made that mistake before, that's for sure. Grab some more ammo here. We are just going to take care of homeboy here sitting in the room. Sir, please be quiet. What the fuck? What the fuck? Are you dead? I think he's dead. Alright, so the first safe, which you will actually not get a combination for, for quite some time. Uh, I actually know the combination for this, so we are just going to go ahead and open the darn thing up. So it's going to be 9 left, 10 right, 1 left. So... Nine, ten, one. Let's go nine, ten, and then one. And that should open it up. And that is going to give us a couple of extra inventory slots right off the bat, which is a huge benefit if you know that combination to have some inventory slots right off the bat. Super good thing to have. Uh, operations report, September 28, 2.30 a.m. It's down to just me and three others. No weapons, no ammo, and too many scrimmages. Have drained us mentally and physically. We're not going to make it. I don't know why I read it like that. That was weird. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the sewers. Apparently, there's a secret tunnel under the place left over from its museum days. I brushed her idea off before, but now it's not sounding all that bad. Yeah, there's no proof there's even a tunnel or that the sewers aren't infested with zombies. But I don't want to sit here and wait to die either. It's a long shot, but I'm going to try to find out what I can about the tunnel. Ed Elliot Edward. Poor Elliot, man. Got ripped in half. Rookie's first assignment. Leon S. Kennedy, we're putting you on a very special case for your first assignment. Your mission is to unlock your desk. The key to your success is in the initials of our first names. Input the letters in order of our desk. There are two locks, one on each side of your desk. Make sure you get them both. Basically, your first task is to remember your fellow officers' names, but you figured that much out, right? Good luck, Leon. By the way, it might take a little work to get Scott to give you a straight answer, Lieutenant Branagh. Scrawled in the corner between drops of blood. Be glad you're not here, rookie. So, the first major lock puzzle, what they want you to do is basically input the... Uh, letters of everyone's first names in order, so what you have to do to solve it is uh, look at their nameplates. So we have over here, we have Neil, Elliot, um, Neil, Elliot, and David. So that makes the left side N-E-D, or Ned. And then on the right side here, you'll see they are Marvin, Rita, and then this guy's nameplate is down there, and it is George. So MRG, or I like to remember it, Marge. That'll open it up, and that'll get you your first weapon upgrade. Which for Claire, it's a speed loader uh, for the SLS 60, and for Leon, it is a extended mag for the Matilda. That's a locked door. Some things I am going to forget. Which is okay. All right, so let's go in here to see. I think there's some ammo here. Uh, we can't do 102 or 103. We can do 106 and 109. Oh, I forgot. There is a note here. Storage locker terminal memo. It appears that the keypad to the locker's terminal is missing a few keys. I suggest that the person responsible for this mess find some spare keys and fix it right now. You know who you are, bastard. Who else would fuck it up this badly? Alrighty then. Uh, so we can do 106. Alright. 
All right, and we can do 109. That is going to get us a film roll and some ammo. We will develop that film in just a moment. Grab the ammo because that's always good to have. My first play through this game, I was running out of ammo like crazy. Just gonna grab this and block this guy's way. Excuse me, sir, but be quiet, please. We are now in the first official save room. Medical benefits of herbs. Humans have used herbs to treat sickness and disease since the dawn of time. In the book, we will explore three such herbs native to the Arclay Mountains. Green herbs have the ability to heal basic injuries, while blue herbs have long been used to treat poisoning. As for red herbs, while they are visually appealing, they offer no medicinal benefits, or so was thought until recently. It's well known that combining herbs together produces blends that heighten herbs' effects, but it has been discovered that red herbs can play a big role when mixed properly. According to one doctor of Asian medicine, mixing blue and red herbs together produces a blend that will strengthen one's constitution. Truly, we have only just begun to realize the full potential of these herbs and their ability to heal the human body. Further research is sure to yield even more fascinating results. All right, so we got a little tidbit on herbs there. Of course, we have an herb right here. And we are in the dark room where we can develop rolls of film. So this is basically going to be a clue to a puzzle that we'll do here in a little bit. So it's good to grab that. If you don't know it, come to the item box and store this stuff because we don't really need it. We don't really need that right now either. Oh, there's more gunpowder in there. I forgot what was actually in here. Last time I the last time I played was it was a hardcore run, so things are a little different in that locker. There's actually ink ribbons, but I don't necessarily have to save because it is standard mode, but I'm going to save anyway. You can see I played a lot of assisted to do some achievements, but uh let's just save over that one. And let's continue on the journey. Head upstairs. <laughs> Hello, sir. I played through the game ten times now. You would think my aim was a lot better than it is. What the fuck? You okay, bud? Dude totally just fell off the balcony. Alrighty then. Is this guy dead? Are you dead, sir? He's not dead, is he? Oh, he's dead. Good. Don't come back. Carol here is gonna uh, show up a little later. So we're just gonna use some ammo to take her out right away. I don't know why her name is Carol, but it's going all over social media that her name is Carol. So we're calling her Carol. All right, moving on. Uh, for now, let's head upstairs. We don't really need to go that way. Grab some ammo. Always nice to have some ammo. Although we don't need this right now, we will grab it. So the code to this locker on the third floor is going to be D... C M. We're gonna open that up and we are going to get submachine gun ammo. And we will get the submachine gun a little later. Grab the key, we're definitely gonna need that guy. What was that? Liquor. Honestly forgot about that. See, I played the game ten times now, on my eleventh run right now. And, uh, I still forget things. To any survivors, consider this a gift to anyone unfortunate enough to be alive. 
Keep your eyes peeled for those creepy fucks that look like they were skinned alive. Lickers, we call them. They're blind as bats, but they're hearing more than more than makes up for that. So as long as you don't run around like a total idiot guns a-blazing, you should be able to slip right by them. Probably. Either way, make like my grandma and creep around as slow as possible around them, yeah? Anyway, not that I want to go, but duty calls. That's that, and I've got a friend to avenge. David. I think that was David Ford again. Uh, what do we got for inventory space? We're doing alright. So we're going to pick that up. We'll pick that up. I believe there's some ammo around here somewhere. There we go. I knew there was some ammo in this room somewhere. David Ford can't do anything with that yet. Oh, there's another pack. So this is actually where you get your first uh, inventory upgrade. I totally forgot this was even here. Some guy's scribblings. Damn those corporate assholes. They cut me off after all I've done for them. But that's how it's going to be, so be it. I'm going to be a little... I'm going to have a little fun of my own as the world goes to shit. Excuse me, I can't read. I boarded all those filthy pigs up in a steel pen and set some C4. All I got to do is detonate it. And it's sayonara, suckers. But it's no fun if it's over too soon, so maybe I'll give that one raving loon something to really squeal about. Yeah, maybe I'll give him a little toy and tell him, kill the guy next to you and I'll spare the others. I wonder what he'll do. Yell about justice and pride, but how many times did you go against me, your own superior? Yeah, you're such a good cop. So good you had to die. Man, this is fun. I need some music for this. That is a little fucking scary. So we're going to pick up, which is officially our first hip pouch upgrade. It's actually my second. That actually fucking scared me, god damn it. Clear. It's Marvin. How fast can you get back here? Why, what's up? I've got something to show you. It's important. Alright, I'm on my way. Alright. Marvin wants us to come back to him. Right now, what we are going to do is we are going to clear out all the enemies here in the library just because uh, we need to come back in here later and it is definitely going to be a pain in the ass if there are enemies in here. So we're just going to take them out. And I can't believe I... Oh my god, I'm missing. Probably reload my gun. Ma'am? I'm over here. Okay, well, she's probably not dead. Let's take care of this guy. Oh my god, my aim. That was awful. Did you see that? Just forget I'm using a revolver. Well, he's dead. I don't need to double tap him. Alright, this is going much better than expected. I think there's some ammo hiding in here somewhere I noticed a long time ago. But I never picked it up. I don't know why. Is she dead? Yeah, she must be dead. Alright, we're gonna move this guy over. You'll know why eventually. Alright, so everybody should be cleared out of here. I'm gonna grab an extra knife. Come in here. There's, of course, a map of the upper floors, which definitely useful to have. Uh, and here we go with our first medallion puzzle here we're going to do. So this is a unicorn. So I can't exactly remember what it is. I think... Hmm, I think it's going to be fish... A uh, scorpion, and then this water pot, which I call Aquarius. And I was correct. Wow. I can't believe it. I actually got it right. I am absolutely amazed. Uh, there's one more item we need in here, which is this book. Which has to do with that picture we developed earlier. Uh, so we're going to open that with our key here. And you can view everything, too. If you examine it, it'll say spade key. Uh, so we're going to come up to get that medallion in just a second here. 
We're going to see what Marvin has to say. There you are. Come here. What is it? Take a look. Oh my god, he made it. You know him? Yeah. It's Leon. It's Leon. Uh, Kennedy, I think? Oh, uh, the rookie. Thought he <laughs> looked familiar. You can make it to that courtyard. The second floor, east side. Okay. Thanks, Marvin. I'm on it. Thank you very much, Marvin. Alright, and something I always forget to do for whatever reason is unlock this door with the spade key, which is a shortcut through the west office to the dark room and safety deposit room. I always forget to fucking unlock that door for some reason, and I have no idea why. Uh, so we're going to store this stuff. I don't need that right now. Uh, don't necessarily need that yet. Uh, going to be getting rid of this in a second, as well as that book. So we're going to come up here and grab the second medallion here. And to get the uh, solutions for that, that is going to be in the... wherever it is. Uh, officer's notebook. Solutions for all of them is right here. Uh, so this one is going to be lion, twig, and, uh, eagle. There it is. See, I do forget things sometimes. Happens to the best of us. Uh, and we're just gonna throw those two medallions in there right now. Why not? Right. Yeah, we're not out of here yet. For sure. All right, two down, one to go. We got a little more work to do. Head up to the next area. I also forgot this herb was here. Okay, then. Uh, there is a safe down here. Uh, and I suppose we can get it right now. I believe it's 6 to 11. I could be completely wrong. Oh, I was right. Okay. And that actually gives us an attachment for a another gun... Uh, that we're gonna get a little later, and I'm actually just gonna run back down to the item box real quick and throw it in there, just because we don't really need it in our inventory, as well as the uh, green herb. We don't really need that either. We're gonna get rid of the spade key here in a moment. One more door to unlock with it, and then it's pretty much done. Run back down here to the item box and throw that in there and throw that in there. We are going to use that book that we picked up in the library here in just a second. Back on the path. Alright, back to the waiting room, and this is where we are going to... Oh, whoop, what's this? Oh, guide pamphlet. Welcome to Raccoon City. Did you know? Well, we are the home of the pharmaceutical giant Umbrella Corporation. Raccoon City is a vibrant and dynamic city with a long, rich history of its own. And this guide will introduce you to just a few more unusual points of interest our city has to offer. Raccoon City Police Station. The building in the center of town wasn't always a police station. In fact, it used to be an art museum. Various features like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the main hall remind us of a bygone era. Orphanage. Just a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage founded and run by the Umbrella Corporation with the help of generous donations from businesses and citizens alike. The building is known for its stained glass window which attracts visitors from all around the world. Yeah, Umbrella owning and running a orphanage. That seems like a fantastic idea. Alright, so that should be... Yep, that's the last time we need that, so we can get rid of that. 
Uh, oh, boards. Forgot that was here. I don't believe, I can't remember, but I don't think we even opened this with Claire. Like I said, I can't remember 100%, but I'm pretty sure we don't. An article, the Redstone, or art article, the Redstone, excuse me. The ruby that captivated Edward Black Prince, the pearl of Queen of the Nile, milked dry. The diamond that led a queen to the guillotine. I can't even say that word for some reason. There's no end to the number of tales related to this appeal of jewels. The mysterious Redstone is simply the latest to, spark, to sparkle among them. Like those other jewels, this one's origin is unknown. It is said that once adorned with the noble woman's jeweled box and was even dedicated to a wise king. This fall, this fall, the stone that's long been shrouded in a legend will be on display during an auction. There are sure to be many eager enthusiasts there. But dear reader, one would do well to approach with care for Deverly eyes and I can't read. Lies in beauty's shadow. The jewel has turned caring nobles who love their subjects into despot despots more terrible than Caligula. Excuse me, I can't read English apparently. God, we have the tales to prove it. Seriously, it's precise. It's precisely because these jewels are bathed in blood that their luster stirs something in the hearts of people everywhere. I don't know why. I can't read. Apparently, I just can't read today for some reason. Weapons locker key card. That is definitely going to come in handy. So we're going to use this book right now. So, if you remember, we had the uh, film that we developed from the lockup or from the lockers. Uh, and it actually gave us this picture. So that is depicting, of course, this statue. And he was also holding this book. So what we have to do is grab the arm, we combine it with the book, and then we put it on the statue, and that is actually going to give us the ruby staff. How this even exists is beyond me, but uh, we got the ruby scepter, and then if we, not combine, if we examine that, can actually flip a little switch and it's going to drop the red jewel and we will be using that later on a lot later on in fact well not a lot but pretty well i guess we won't be going that way Just head outside then. Cutscene. Hey! Claire? Leon! I'll be right there! Well, that's not good. Come on. Leon, we really gotta stop meeting like this. Huh. You all right? Police chopper, it just came out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm fine. I take it you don't have the key. No. Uh, no, not exactly, Leon. It's good to see your face, though. How are you holding up? I am hanging in there. Hell of a night, huh? Yeah. Did you find your brother? I did, actually. He's... <laughs> just when you think it can't get any worse. Yeah, no shit. Leon? You should get going. Don't worry about me. Just get yourself to safety. No, Leon, seriously, they're getting through the fence. Please, just go. We're gonna make it. Both of us. If you say so, Leon. I guess I'll trust you. Board here. This is bad. I've got zombies everywhere. Marvin? I forgot this ammo was here. Marvin Damn. Using infinite ammo, sometimes I forget where all the uh, ammo items are. So we got, if we take a look at it, it says cutting tool, but if we examine it, it says it's bolt cutter, so we can use that to cut the chained up doors.
We have this fella here. Son of a bitch. He thinks it's okay for him to just come in here for no reason. What the hell? All right. Well. Yes. I am definitely butchering this. Okay then. Are you dead, sir? Oh, he is now. All right, so we can finally get through this door that we saw earlier. There's some interesting items in here. Oh, hello. Uh, can I combine that? Thank you. And I'm going to board up this window. can grab the fuse here and unblock this door that was previously blocked earlier. And if we put the fuse in the fuse box, we can open up the shutters and that will allow us to get back here into the east side. And once you're in the main hall, in a scenario anyway, no zombies can get in here, so it's good to go. So anyway, that is going to be it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed it. In the next episode, we will go back into the East Office there and grab everything that's in there. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you are enjoying it so far. I absolutely love this game, and I'm having a ton of fun recording it. So thanks for watching, everyone, and I will see you in the next episode. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire but it's no use cause you can't stop it from shining through it's true